Election day is right around the corner, and I have some truths to lay down, okay? One, Stevenson is not Lakeshore's savior. She's our failure. We failed to hold her to account again and again, and she's drained city funds on personal vendettas. Two, it's not too late to change that. And I'm not talking about voting Holden Park the third. That guy is dumber than a hairball. Don't do that. The truth is, we have no candidate. So I don't care what the ads have told you, let's make a stand. Vote for no one. Vote for no one? That's not a solution. Wait.
Interceptor engaging. One more before the race? One more for the road, huh? Why not? So we liberating another car from Alex's collection? No, not this time. Just got a weird call. Not a good start. From someone calling themselves the Blacklist. Sounds ominous. Wants us to pick up an M3 GTR. He said be prepared for lots of heat. When is it there? Draw me the pin. I'll head there now. You got it. many of you fine people. I'd like to start by saying that the current incumbent has not only demeaned the office of the mayor, they've also demeaned the citizens of this city. I will ensure that if elected, I will treat you all with the respect you deserve. Mr. Parker, can you tell us what your policies are going to be if you're elected? So, uh, it's important to remember one thing. Why we're here, and that is, um, we need to go back to basics. You know, those basics are going to be, uh, with a view to making sure we never lose sight of what is important our freedom. Do you worry your lack of experience as a politician is going to hinder you? Yeah, you know, I remember a long time ago, my father took me fishing and he, uh, he handed me the rod and said, now, go catch a fish. Yeah, and up until that point, my only experience of fish was seeing our nanny prepare it for us for dinner. And when at the end of the day, I hadn't caught a fish. But I did finally see what a fish looked like alive and in the wild before my father smashed it against a rock. That's how I'm going to approach the task in office. Okay, I got them three. Now time to shake off the cops.
Roadblock up ahead, should stop the suspect. Just pulled the vanishing act on Southland Drive. I've done a lot of these, but, you know, I got a weird sense I'd done this in a past life or something. I found out some background on this one. Oh, yeah? Some guy just got released from jail, and the first thing he wanted was this car. Well, he's got it now. Hopefully that's the last we hear from him. He sounded like he meant business. I feel like we're living on the razor's edge with some of these collections. That one felt a little too dangerous. Even for us.
The racers running roughshod over our city clearly haven't gotten the message. Tonight, the LPD will be on high alert. Whatever these hooligans have planned, we will be ready. Why does she say we? It's not like she gonna do anything. Kid, can you imagine Stevenson pulling off the line in the crown, Vic? Which one? The Aston Martin Volk. Seriously? I never thought we'd see that beauty again. Thought it'd be long gone to a private collector. Yeah, me too, kid. Me too. Location sent. I call you after the drop off. Be advised, we're sending out additional units to support you today. Those racers have got something big planned, so let's increase the intensity out there. Hope you didn't skip town with that car. You no, know I didn't. It's funny. A week ago, the brand was my time to clinch it from my crew and prove to Alec I'm the best he's got. Now it feels like a lose-lose. Yes, you're a survivor. You made some bad decisions, sure, but we all have. Like, I let that possum nest in the garage way too long. Huh? Nothing. Look, what happened that night was a long time ago. Don't let it define you. It ain't that easy. Yes, what you said last time about having nowhere else to go after all this, you know that ain't true. I'll get you at the starting line.
Hey, kid. How we do? Just delivered the Aston. That's the last one, right? Yeah. I never expected her to do this. It really means a lot. I know, right, Del. It doesn't make up for everything, but... But it sure makes it easier to forgive. Now, let's finish what we started. Sounds like a plan. Also, kid, I'm proud of you. I'll see you back at the garage. You can count on it.
take this creep out. Roadblock deployed. Suspect has disappeared, damn it! Suspect lost at two point view. My ride's looking good, if I do say so myself. I like your chances. Even if you don't win back the old car, I'd say you built something pretty special yourself. You did the damn thing. Adele served his brisket at the vegan food fest.
now join the pursuit dispatch. So we're going to your team.
Right right down. Man, man, I got you. Don't worry. Hey, hey I, I have to use some of that baby powder. I'll be rooting for you. Thanks, right down. Oh! Speed! Speed! The need for speed! Absolutely. I'm dropping a fortune to stop us. What do we do if it works? I don't know. Put a, put a crew together. Save, save the world. Race, race home. Pop, pop a cold one. Pop, pop a family. Mark barbecue. The same thing, only different like eight or nine times. Let's show them how we do things in LA. Still 
the race. I would have thought you'd flame out by now. I mean, I, mean, I am on fire, if that's what you're saying. about my chances.
Oh yeah? How's Alex? Gross, fam! Thanks to you! I'm lost. Why, why, why do you sound happy? Oh, did I give you the impression that I work for Alex? <laughs> How many times do I have to tell you, Speedy? You never bet on just one horse. When I, when I win, I, I win. When I lose, I, I still win. Laura from this chapman? Loyalty's overrated. Guys, you weren't kidding. She's got more kick than a Carolina Reaper. I told you. But I could have done driving this thing. Crashed on the first corner. You, you forget what just happened? No, I saw you lose it a few times. Only one of us lost it. Damn, that was cold. Too, too soon? Just go easy, okay? Please. I waited two years. I can already wait past going easy. You're, you're on. Just don't say I didn't warn you. You must have put in a lot of work over these years. Still, I can't, can't believe you couldn't win the grand even in this. You ever gonna let me live this now? Not, not a chance. This city holds a lot of memories. It's our city now. We finally made it. We raced our way into Lakeshore Legend. We still got work to do. Our harder at the top, and everybody wants to take you down. Believe me. I'd, I'd like to see them try when I'm driving this way. Rattel is gonna be hyped when he sees her. Think he's gonna be okay with me turning up? Why wouldn't he be? Cause he's stubborn. Check the mirror lately? I ain't stubborn. <laughs> Seriously? Remember that time at the earrings when you ordered the Junto Chili sub with all the trimmings? And? He said, Bro, you won't finish all that. Any point? You ended up stuffing your face still. I grew up all over right now. And he said, Next time, order the salad. It's easier to clean. He misses you too, yes? We'll see. You made, you made a mistake. Own it. Stop talking mistakes. Yeah? But what about this? Let's race for pigs! <laughs> what, you trying to ruin the moment? What, I'm the only one getting chewed out? Ain't much to say. Without her, I wouldn't have won the grant. So, you replaced me. Tess was not a yes replacement. For starters, she didn't know the difference between a spanner and a pork wrench. <laughs> I don't doubt that. She didn't know the difference between sweet potatoes and yams, though. There's a difference? You, you had no idea what her play was? I had my doubts. Honestly, though, the only thing I cared about was beating you. Yeah, and I deserve that. But people like Pinks, they're only out for themselves. Maybe, but everyone deserves a second chance, right? An opportunity to change. Okay, okay, I'm getting the irony. I can't wait to see what you two did with the garage. About how Rydell would call me when he couldn't find Wrenchy. <laughs> Funny, I caught him talking to Wrenchy last week. What was he saying? How come I always find you now? You're exactly where I put you. I told him you hit it deliberately, just to mess with him. You know, I'm about to turn around. Yes, you better not run off with another one of my cars. And can't make no promises. Remember when we started out? Yeah, yeah of course. Of course. <laughs> just a couple of gearheads, I'm not a little loose. You thought we were going to win it all right off the bat. You thought we were going to win it all. I, I had a handle on reality. Maybe. Although, I can't believe you made me do that jump. Could have been over before we even started. But the thrill, right? You can't bottle that. What we live for. That need for... Don't say it. But, but yeah, this is just the end of the beginning. But no doubt. Besides, something's missing from the garage. What? what? Jasmine Touch.
I found. Sounds pretty. Street racing started in the street, right? So the street, hip hop, hop is street. You, when you think about urban wear, which is skateboard, skateboarding brands, which is called street wear, it's all from the hood, and it, and it doesn't necessarily mean it has to be a urban metropolitan or like the hood. It's just for, for racing and hip hop. Oh, as far as the correlation in hip hop, street racing, the big rims and shit like that. Spinners. Spinners were made to try to cool down the exhaust and all that shit. We took it to hip hop in the early 2000s. All the boys had spinners on their trucks and all that shit. 24 inch rims. Even decking your car out. The car culture is really like a, essentially a street and hip hop culture. Struggle. That's where everyone comes from. So hip hop started from struggle. It was people who would take their parents' records, right? And they knew that in the beginning of this record, it's in 10 seconds that, that the drum is just looping. What they'll do is put that on the Serrat, on a, a turntable, and then they'll loop that in 10 seconds, and that should be. And then they'll take another record, put it on the other side of the turntable, and that gives you your percussions and your hi-hats. And then they just take a microphone and rap. Hip hop was the foundation is built off sampling initially, like, like essentially, and that's, and that's the whole. That's 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 what we do. So I think everything that goes into it. I think the struggle speaks out the best. And we all know that it's it's, it's the struggle. Uh, everybody who wasn't like like born with a silver spoon in their mouth, even those born with a silver spoon in their mouth, they, they always feel a need to show that they're worthy. They, they need to show their parents, man, I'm not just no. Hedge fund baby, like I, I got this. I know rich billionaire born the billionaire mother who own multi million dollar businesses by themselves, and it's not no Trump thing where the dad gave him only a ten billion dollar loan. Like what the, you know what I'm saying? It's like people who do it themselves, and I think that uh, even if you have a silver spoon, just keep going because if you if you stop, bro, you can't afford to stop. No one can afford to stop because if you stop, it's over, and that's the truth. And, 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 and for lack of better words, and simple in the most simplest terms, if you stop this, you no, know, no. We all share the same thing, which is struggle. And for anybody, anybody struggling, I just, I just want some words of encouragement. ASAP, meaning we're always striving to prosper. It's, it's not what you think. It's not as soon as possible. Well, they took a positive reform and put a spin on something that it meant quickly. But for us, everything but fast and actually has more of a positive, positive perspective. perspective. And it was, it was some form of encouragement that promoted prosperity and, and ambition amongst the young brothers. There's, there's a lot of people where I come from who have a lot of capabilities and different backgrounds, but we never really exercise those tools or anything like that because we're so stuck in our situations or 
trying to live up to a facade that was, you know, put in front of us that we got to live up to and other people's expectations. I think always strive to prosper is just creating your own path for your own destiny, but but not going rogue and not giving up. It's always about the encouragement. I, I think the message for striving is just is easy. It's because it's so easy to give up. It's just so easy to give up. You can give up, you can start doing you can give up and you can just stay at home or you know, you know you give up all aspirations. You can give up on life, you can give up on your friends, yourself, your family. I think prosperity is just what we all want in the long end and what we hope for. And that's, and that's what we work towards. Because I think this phrase and this crew is supposed to show you that. Street racing started in the street, right? So it's street. Hip hop is street. When you think about urban wear, which is skateboarding brands, which is called streetwear, it's all from the hood. And it, and it doesn't necessarily mean it has to be an urban metropolitan or like a hood. It's just for racing, for hip hop. Oh, as far as the correlation in hip hop, street racing, big rims and shit like that. Spinners. Spinners were made to try to cool down the exhaust and all of that shit. We took it to hip hop in the early 2000s. All the ballers had spinners on their trucks and all of that shit. 24 inch rims. Even decking your car out. The car culture is really like a essentially a street and hip hop culture. Struggle. That's where everyone comes from. So. Hip hop started from struggle. It was people who would take their parents' rec records, right? Right? And they, and they knew that in the beginning of this record, it's in 10 seconds that the drum is just looping. What they'll, they'll do is put that on the Serato, um, uh, uh, turntable, and then they'll loop that in 10 seconds, and that should be. And then they'll take another record, put it on the other side of the turntable, and that gives you your percussions and your hi hats. And then they just take a microphone and rap. Hip hop was the foundation that built off sampling initially, like like essentially, and that's, and that's the whole. That's that's that's, that's what we do. So I, th I think everything that goes into it. I think the struggle speaks out the best. You know, we all know that. It's it's the struggle. Uh, everybody who wasn't like, like born with a silver spoon in their mouth, even those months born with a silver spoon in their mouth, they, they always feel the need to show that they're worthy. That they, they need to show their parents, man, I'm not just no. Hedge fund baby, like, like, I, I got this. I know rich billionaire, born billionaire, who own multi million dollar businesses by themselves, and it's not no Trump thing where the dad gave him only a ten million dollar loan. Like, what the you know what I'm saying? It's like people who do do it themselves, and I think that uh, even if you have a silver spoon, just keep going because if you if you stop, bro, bro you can't afford to stop. No one can afford to stop because if you stop, it's over, and that's the truth. And, 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 and for lack of better words, it's simple in the most simplest terms. If you stop, it's no. We all share the same thing, which is struggle. And for anybody struggling, I just, I just want some words of encouragement. ASAP, meaning always strive and prosper. It's not what you think. It's not as soon as possible. Well, we took a positive riff on and put a spin on something that meant quickly. But for, for us, it's, it's everything but fast. It actually. Has, has more of a positive perspective. And, and it, it was some form of encouragement that, that promoted prosperity and ambition amongst the young brothers. There's, there's a lot of people where I come from who have, have a lot of capabilities and different backgrounds, but we never really exercise those tools or anything like that because we're so stuck in our situations or I'm trying to live up to a facade that was you know, you know, in front of us that, that we got to live up to and other people's expectations, I think. Always strive to prosper is just creating your own path for your own destiny, but not going rogue and not giving up. So it's always about the encouragement. I think the message for striving is just it's easy. It's because it's so easy to give up. It's so easy to give up. You can give, give up, you can start doing You can give up and you can just stay at home or... You know, you know, you give up all aspirations. You can give up on life. You can give up on your friends, yourself, your family. I think prosperity is just 
what we owe and what we want in the long end and what we hope for. And that's, and that's what we work towards. Because I think this phrase and this crew is supposed to show you that if, if you strive, you shall prosper. Everybody has some type of support. So, I mean, I don't think that it's wise to try to take on everything as, as an individual by yourself. But you don't necessarily need a crew. It just worked out for me. We form this brotherhood and this brotherhood because we don't have that where we're from. You know, every time there's always an organization of guys from the urban community getting together, we labeled as a gang or some type of terrorist party or something like that. You know, we just wanted to do something positive. We're not saints. But uh, at the same time, time we're not cold blooded sinners, and it's really all about just getting your dreams out there, man. And I think that I'm, I'm, I'm an advocate for that. You know, I advocate for that. I think I'm a catalyst for change. I think I'm a catalyst for, you know, striving and prospering and doing it how you want to do it your way because everything about me is unorthodox, man. My style, the way I talk, and everything, but it, I mean, it works. And I just want to encourage people to be them, whatever that may mean. And, uh, Whatever, whatever your goal is, is, is set to be, to try, try to accomplish that. That's, that's the purpose of it. And I think, I think that's the pursuit of happiness in life. People don't get to know that I'm human just like them. I go through struggles just like them. I go through frustrations and everything. As far as my accolades and accomplishments go, it, it wasn't easy. You know? and, um, like I said, I'm just as normal as everyone else when it comes to that matter. People just assume once you go to superstar on that, I kind of don't bleed or, you know, or shit or sleep or anything, but uh, for me, it's more, more so just uh, make, making it, just showing people that we're all relatable in the same sense, that we all are the same in the same sense, because I deal with everyday struggles just like anybody else. Most of the time, a commerce person only correlates struggles to economic problems or, you know, financial problems, but everybody has problems. Regardless of if it's economical or not. So, so, what would you do if you had the monster that you have now and the knowledge that you gained about the years and you can kind of like teleport back to your old self back in you know, 2007 or not? Street racing. Started in the street, right? So, so street. Hip hop is street. When you think about urban wear, which is skateboarding brands, which is called street wear, it's all from the hood. And it, and it doesn't necessarily mean it has to be. Street racing started in the street, right? So street. Hip hop is street.